So talking about the properties of subtraction, we have three basic properties. Okay. The very first property says that when we subtract a number by itself, the answer is zero. For example, if I write 50 minus 50, the answer is 0. If I write 100 minus 100, my answer is 0. I write 1 minus 1, my answer is 0. So, these examples state that if I am subtracting a number, by the same number itself, I will be getting my answer as 0. Clear? Coming to the next property, the second property says that when we subtract zero from a number, the answer is the number itself. So what do you mean by that? Say for example, if I write 50 minus 0, I get the answer 50. I write 100 minus 0. The answer is same as the question which is 100. 1 minus 0. I get the answer 1. So, any number which we subtract by 0, it gives me the difference value as the number itself. Clear? Coming to the next one, the next property says that if we subtract 1 from a number, The answer is its predecessor. So what do you mean by predecessor? A number before the given number. For example, I write 50 minus 1. My answer is 49. I say 100 minus 1. My answer is 99. So, in these cases, if you see, the number which is predecessor of 50 is 49. The number which is predecessor of 100 is 99. So, whenever you subtract a number from 1, the answer will be the predecessor of the given number. Okay? And the last property is, changing of order is not possible in subtraction. So this is not like addition where you can shuffle the order. For example, if I write 25 minus 13 is not equal to 13 minus 25. It is not possible for me to write 25 minus 13. The answer which I obtained by 25 minus 13, that will not be the answer that I obtained by 13 minus 25. Because as I said, your minuend should always be the larger number and subtrahend should be the smaller number. In this case, your minuend is a smaller number and your subtrahend is a larger number. So here, subtraction is not possible. Okay, so changing of the order is not possible in subtraction. So to summarize, we will just recap whatever we learnt in properties. The first one says, when we subtract a number by the number itself, your answer is 0. The second one says, when we subtract 0 from the given number, the answer is the number itself. Third one says, if we subtract 1 from any given number, the answer is its 
predecessor. And the last one says that changing of order is not possible in subtraction. Clear children? So using these concepts, we will be solving our sums. Thank you.